Hey everyone, I just wanted to stop by real quick for this podcast starts and say you should like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on all my social medias at John D. Clouser, literally the same name as the name that you subscribe to on this YouTube channel. So enjoy this clip and I'll see you guys on the other side. So I had my microphone was like this arm is just slightly too loose and that's why I was like slipping down. I'm like, oh, I don't want to hold it. I'm like maybe I can see it. Maybe, maybe I'll be able to, you know keep it going and then it slid out of the way and it, I it that's why it the audio changed there anyway uh buy Aaron shirts and uh yeah guys ever started a podcast and had a burp okay what's going on so that's uh great if you're uh new welcome if you are a returning guest thank you so much for coming back to the john show episode 77 i am your host john d clauser what is going on you guys i hope you guys you know what not guys peoples everyone they's thems whatever who you are, what you are, be be you. The thing is, just have fun doing it. Uh, that's really what I that's that's what I preach here. That's what I that's that's my gospel, my sermon, my uh tablet of uh commandments, all that stuff. I've always uh, so this past week has been has been really interesting because you know what's so funny because I never really talk about the video of the week I always say <clears throat> when I do my plug which is so funny like I I think about all the time the things that I do for this this little podcast thing I do and it's ridiculous there's no need for that plug there's no need for that video because I don't even ever acknowledge the video has any I wonder if anyone's ever watched this like is he ever going to acknowledge the videos that he does I just think they're funny. I just find random videos every week, and sometimes, you know, Aaron is not here, so we can't do that show, so I have all, like, the stockpile of videos, and if I do one, I have to export it in a certain way, so it's, like, an, a usable, fo- like, film file, so I can, <clears throat> so it's able to be read through all my computers, because, you know, sometimes the audio doesn't want to sync with it, it's weird, I don't, it's, it's hard to explain unless you see it, but... Uh, it, it, it eliminates that. It's another one I can put into my hard drive so that I can just like bring it up when Aaron is here. But yeah, I never acknowledge him. But I thought that video was really weird. It's funny to me. It's not, I guess, I shouldn't say it's funny. It's interesting. So, like I told you guys, I've told you guys before, my family are pretty, when it comes to like religion, they're pretty, like, I would say, what's the best word? They're, they're kind of, uh, eclectic and that's uh, no not even that it's just like we grew up with a a quran a bible and a torah in the house and it was just like you need to know these things you should just learn them you should know stories from them you should be able to like when someone speaks of it you should be able to be knowledgeable about it and that's one of the greatest like tools my parents ever taught me was that the things that you you should you should always be wanting to learn things so you can be better and when you're better 
then you have a better understanding. And so you're not going to have a fight with people. And it's, it's actually really interesting because I was just talking about this with, with a friend of mine the other night. I was having beer because so, I uh, he is a he does IT like software sales and he's a manager for a corporate company. And I was meeting with him to have beers and because it was a thing like I was just like kind of like exploring my options because like my job was kind of like it pissed me off for a second. So I thought, OK, maybe I should look at other things. And maybe, you know, kind of up myself in a different way or to challenge myself in a different way. Uh, but we were talking about how when we were in college, because him and I are the same age, I'm 32. When we were going to college and the whole idea of going to college and you always, we always, I always dreamed about going to a bigger place or another state, someplace that's had a completely different way of living simply because. I wanted to see how that style of living was, or I wanted to uh, then, because if that was a certain population, it might attract a large different group of people. And that was like, also the cool thing about college was always the fact of knowing that, you know, you're going to go to this other place and there's going to be people from so many different veins of the world or different of the, even like even the city, a different city, the city that you're from, just different veins of the city. And you're going to meet all these people and you're going to see how they live. And it, it, it broadens your mind because you just like you just might meet someone who's lived the exact opposite that you lived. And that was one of the great things about go- growing up and going to college was that having that experience. And now it's looked at that that's if you don't agree with somebody, then it's looked at like, OK, well, then like you're the enemy. You're an enemy. Instead of looking like, okay, well, wh- why? There's, there has to be reasons why. Like, I have, I have white friends, and like, I'm like, I'm basically their first brown person they know they've ever like really talked to. And yeah, sometimes they say things like, you know, wow, you don't act like all the other brown people, and like, they don't mean anything by it. They just don't know. They've never been around brown people. Like, how can I be upset that they don't, they don't, they've never been around brown people? It's, it's silly. That's silly for me to be up, to be upset by that. And so by having that knowledge, and that's because going out in the world and seeing how so many other people lived, I am like, hmm, no, there's a reasoning behind this and you shouldn't get upset. And that's what I'm trying to get at, guys. Don't get upset. Have fun. Make fun of, you know, like make fun of everyone. Make fun of your friends. Like my friends and I make fun of each other all the time. They make fun of me all the time for being Hispanic. And you know what's so funny too is I make fun of them for being white. I make fun of them for being black. I make fun of them for being Asian. Like, and they guess what? They make fun of me for being where I came from. And the thing is, what's so funny is like, oh, you know, I eat rice. Like, so does like ninety percent of the world with every meal. They eat rice with every meal. And like, you know, like we all talk about like, oh, yeah, you're a rice eater. You're oh, 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 whatever. It's no big deal. I just looked up, I was drinking a beer, and I looked up, I'm like, wow, there is a lot of lights right over here that are pointing over. Uh, sometimes I like to look, let's like bring this podcast up a little bit. Sometimes it's silly because I, I look at what I'm doing. This is hilarious, this little podcast thing that I do. I, it's adorable that I do this. But what's really cool about it is the fact that like, the growth, growing, having a goal, setting it. And like even like building lights and doing stuff like it's like it's it's having a mindset on something and then like executing, which is always the hard part because a lot of people want to think they people like to people a lot of a lot of people are afraid and that's why they don't do things. And this is my at least in my opinion of like understanding people, and because they won't do things, it's all it's because of fear, you know, and. The thing is, like, you can just do things and still be scared. The thing is, like, you're going to get, being afraid of it, you're always going to see it and you're always going to feel it because that's always part of the feel. That's like, because, like, that's part of failure. Like, you don't want to fail because, like, that's, because that's what you're trying to avoid. You want to succeed. And so you're always going to be afraid in some sense of it, of some sense of the whole thing. But the thing is, like, if you just keep doing stuff, then you eventually stop being so scared of 
what you're doing and you have a little bit more control and you're able to like still have that. You're going to have senses of it, but it's not going to be as much. Uh, but you just got to do it. It's kind of like this podcast. Just got to do it. I got, I have to keep telling myself that it's like, dude, cause like sometimes I'm like, it's like, it's like 15 minutes till uh, 1 a.m. on a fr- on a Saturday and I have work tomorrow morning or afternoon kind of thing early. I, I'm lucky cause I don't go to work till 1130, but I get up early and I still go and I go to the gym and stuff. That's when I get all my gym stuff done. I'm drink, as I, as I drink a, a as as I drink a Bud Ice. But the reason why I drink it because you only need to drink one because it's five point five alcohol content. What's better than that? It tastes like dog shit, but all, all beers taste like shit. Name a beer that doesn't taste like shit. The, exactly, there ain't one. There just isn't one. Sorry. It just isn't. It just isn't a thing. So, this week, what can we talk about? Huh. So, what do I have? I have a bunch of different random things. Uh, you know, like every week. This week was kind of weird because I only really had three big things I wanted. Like, are not really I wanted to talk about, but I'm like, well, the three things that I wrote down because it's really what it is. It's like just things that come to me or uh, things that occur, and then I write them down. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll just talk about this and. Everything else is just kind of winged and just kind of like, okay, well, or I kind of take something from last week that I didn't talk about or weeks prior that I'm like, okay, well, that'd be kind of cool to talk about. So this week was a little different in that sense where I only had really three things. And so I had to go do a little digging before the podcast started to kind of find some like subject things. And then I'm like, okay, and I don't ever like having, you would be shocked by this guys about the blow your brains that, you know, sometimes the things I say like are like. They're bits. I would say they're bits. They're just things I'm trying to like, okay, there's a highlight thing that I want to use and try to kill time with. So, for example, like, the sky is blue. So, I'm going to make a, a thing about that. So, what I like to do is I'll, I'll announce what it is and then I'll try to do like a little bit about it. Well, surprisingly, guys, and that's why I write it down. I'll write down like the sky is blue, then like write down a little thought that I want to at least talk about. And when I do it I I just write it down I don't fuck with it until like the night of that I'm shooting and so then then I look over everything I do and when I look over it I like then I'm like okay well now like let's say it out loud so like technically this is the second time I say anything really but like the first time it's just like whatever which is always the better I've always found that it's I should stop doing it because the first one is always better I find which I, I don't know why I'm saying that but I am and (laughs) it is sometimes but also sometimes like "Mm, that was kind of stupid glad you didn't say that really glad you didn't say that because you already make yourself sound stupid as it is like what you just did right right then like about two seconds prior to that by telling you something I feel like I was like that that weird awkward character in that movie but really what it is is just I'm in my head because I really have no idea whatever to talk about Cause I'm just like John. Why? Why do you do this? You, you sit and, and you talk for thirty minutes by yourself. Granted, I've gotten a lot better with like being like that, which is I guess that's that's always the good thing, which is what I've been trying to get at. Um, but I really need to get. I, I guess what I need to do is talk about the things like so. You know the song Wonderwall. Why do people like this song so much? It's not a good song. It's super depressing. And like I, I try to understand. I don't like. I will. I'll be. I'll admit it to you guys. I don't like most music. I don't like a lot of music. I'd say like ninety five percent of music I don't like. Very few songs I, I kind of somewhat enjoy, but most songs just make me feel really sad and depressed. And it's not really like the instrumental stuff. Like I like the guitar, the drums, the synthesizer. You put all that stuff together. That's really cool. It's just when you start putting words to it, they, it, it just kills the whole thing. And you're like, you guys could have just shut up and just let the music play and just don't talk. And it's like, John, why don't you just listen to jazz? And I'm like, no, I don't like jazz because jazz doesn't make me feel happy. Jazz makes me feel like jazz makes me feel wound up. It feels like like someone like sit me head like sits me down, and like holds my head and like just spins my body, and it's just like that's how I feel when I listen to jazz music. It's not fun. I don't like it. It's not. It's not a good time. 
at least to me, it doesn't feel like a good time at all. Which is probably just a, a very personal thing, which also another thing is like, that's just why I really don't like musicals. I don't get it. I will never understand why people enjoy musicals so much. So you, you're, you're awesome. Because like some of these stories are really cool and I would really like to listen to these stories and like you tell me the problem. It's like, okay, well, we find out like, okay, Jack is the killer. Now what we need to do is like we have to frame him in a sense that then we can prove that he actually really did it. And then like now we got that. Okay, that's the thing we're going to do. Let's move on. Act three. But first, we're going to do this huge ass fucking song and we're going to literally repeat exactly what we just said. It's like, I already had it. You don't need to hammer it anymore. I, you, okay. You said, okay, for the, okay. And now you have a whole chorus about what you just said. Okay, that's great. Oh, okay. And the bridge, the chorus, and the fade out. Okay, now we're in act three. It's like you didn't have to do any of that. You could have just gone straight into act three, kept the story going, kept the momentum going. Now you killed it. I don't really, uh, and now I'm thinking about this damn song now, and I'm thinking about like how you like rhymed biscuit with like like mustard, killed 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 the whole joke. But anyway, that it's weird. It's just that's how I, uh, ugh, ugh. It it really makes me gag, it makes my eyes water, because I I, I I fell into some awful times once. Like my mom had tickets. Like I saw Phantom of the Opera. Also a musical. Kind of enjoyed it. It was all right. I'm like, okay, this wasn't that bad. It was really... F- it kept moving. There was a lot of flamboyant stuff going on. There was the, like a... At one time, there was the... It, it, he was dressed up like a pirate. It was cool. It was an awesome... It was kind of cool in that sense. Uh, the music, again, could have like could have left. Could have left it. And I could have just watched the love story between a man wanting a woman. And that's really what it was. It was a man wanting to impress a woman. And get her to fall in love with him i could have watched that and it was interesting because he was like a phantom of an opera he's just some random dude that's like a, he's just like this basically you're taking like the what the the hunchback of notre dame but you're just making him to like now a uh a guy who plays on an organ i'm like okay that's cool like but you could just had him just do other weird shit instead of play an organ granted playing an organ think about it dating you know you're, you're going on a date with some guy and he's like, you know, like I play, you know, I play music, I do music stuff. Like, what do you play? An organ. It's immediately like, okay, it's kind of creepy. So I, I understand why you choose an organ for an an organ, an organ, dude. This is the one of the weird things about like the English, my English. So like, I hear, I hear it the same. So an organ, and then Oregon, I hear it the exact same. It's fucking weird. Think about that. It's probably also like because just how I, I'm probably just dumb. Most likely, I'm just dumb, so I, I I can't speak that well. And then you add the fact that like you drink a Bud Ice, which is even when you're drinking it, it's killing you. It's it's like immediately like it's like chop 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 chop. So like, it's like it's so like you're trying to like communicate and like have like standard like you know f- actual thoughts, and like drink a beer at this, this the awful beer at the same time. I thrive, listen here guys, I thrive on drinking awful beer. I like this stuff. I'm like, because I said, what beer tastes good? No beer tastes good. You're never like, I would just drink this just to drink this. You wouldn't, like, if it, just take out the alcohol out of it, would you still drink it? No. But a Coca-Cola, and it didn't have any alcohol in it, you'd still drink a Coca-Cola. But this without alcohol in it, you're like, no, I'm not going to drink that awful piece of shit. Like, no, no, you want it. But it has 5.5 alcohol content, which makes you feel something. If you're a human instead of a fucking vampire, I don't know. Can vampires get drunk? I don't think they can. I don't think. That, you know what? Let's, let's Google this. Um, do, 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 do. Can... Can Van Pyres get drunk? Uh, so can vampires get drunk? It should be very easy for a vampire to get drunk, and it is uh, uh, not impossible. It's not possible. It's not considered possible. This has to do with the actual 
fictioning of the vampire's body. There is no blood flow. Oh, so the alcohol. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I guess in this hypo, this hypo, hypo, hyper, in this hypothesis, let's just use that. In this hypothesis, sometimes I use these other words and people are like, why do you use that one? Because like, I just don't, I can't pronounce the other one. So I, I have to use like hypothesis instead of like, you know, another word to describe like, you know, a th like the I maybe like a exercise an idea of what you think it could be. Uh, so I am so goddamn dumb. <laughs> I think we've done it. I think we might have hit the like the point where we're like, OK, this is the center of his purity of dumbness. He's, he's just dumb. He's just an ignorant man who, when he doesn't have his co-host, he does the solo thing, which he still does even when he has his co-host, and he talks about literally nothing. He talked about vampires getting drunk. Can va he Googled, do vampires get drunk? And he expects us to sit here and listen to this? Who does he think he is? I would love to be able to listen to someone who gets super upset by listening to me, and I I'm sure it doesn't take much. It doesn't take long. Like, wh who is this turd? Who is this turd of a man who sits on this little, this little seat thing, and then with a goddamn sombrero behind him? Like, who is he? Why is he? Why is he talking? Like, why? Why would he talk? And let me tell you, I think the exact same thing. I think the exact same thing. So, girl, I I don't know if I. <clears throat> I don't know if I talked about this or not, but, um, oh, yeah, I have definitely not talked about this. So, can we talk about something, everyone? This is annoying, and I'm tired of having my friends talk to me about it, so I have to bring it up here, because apparently it's like a huge phenomenon, and it's like, it needs to stop. Can I guess girls on dating sites put what they do is they they put other girls in their picture that are hot too or they're hot I don't know if they're hotter I'm assuming they're they're probably doing it and it, they're basically cat catching guys by doing that and that's wrong that's awful please don't do that it's not fun that's not fun just do pictures of you I honestly don't I, I honestly if you could not put your like zodiac sign too that'd be awesome as well but you know. I, you know, beggars can't be choosers with people with like things like that. I would think that that's one of those things that doesn't need to be told. No one cares. It's always interesting. I'm like, I'm like, oh. and then you do say, I, I don't get it. I just don't like, can someone please explain to me why the Zodiac stuff makes any sense? I don't know why you want to b believe in the, the Zodiac stuff. I know I talk about this a lot. I know I do, and I make fun of it a lot in my memes. I bring it up a lot. By the way, follow me on my Instagram and my or my Facebook, and then you can see my memes I post. Not all, uh, most of them are not mine. Well, all of them are not mine. I find them and I, I I search high and low, and then I'll I'll Google random things plus meme and see if I can find any memes that way. It's just. Uh, it's just, it's a fun thing to do. And, uh, yeah. Have you ever hit a point in a podcast where you're just like, okay, you got seven minutes, John. Can you do it? Can you do it? Can you sit here and muster up seven more minutes for these beautiful people, whoever's sitting here left? I feel like the room was full and now there's about like six or seven people and they're like, oh man, we're barely hanging on, man. We're only doing this because we, we got this far. You know, like, you know, seven more minutes, I guess, you know, we can't, we, we can, we can handle seven more minutes. Seven. Come on. Come on. Cheers. Um, cheers to health. I hope you guys are all doing well. I really do. Hope you guys are doing well. If you guys could like this, give this video a thumbs up. It'd be awesome. If you are watching, it'd be awesome. Actually, I need, fuck that. Do it. Don't do it. I don't really don't care. Cause the thing is, I say that. Like it fucking means something. It's like, oh, I'm having a computer, a computer tell me that I'm I'm worthy. I'm worthy of something. 
no, I'm worthy because I'm doing this. And I like doing this. How funny if I start crying? I start bawling. You know what's one thing, guys? How dumb. You know how dumb I am? Every time I trim my fingernails, I'm always like, you never do it right at all. There's always one or two of them. You're like, wow, you really fucked up on that one. Like, how did you just stop? You stopped like, you were like 80% done and then you just stopped (laughs) and you moved on to the next fingernail. It's like, this is why people go to like those fingernail places and get their fingernails done. But I'm just like, I don't want someone to touch me. I just don't want my hands touched. I don't like it. It's, it feels gross. I didn't like it before COVID. I don't like it during COVID. I don't know. What is this? Is this like, I feel like we're like the fifth quarter. Did you guys, did anyone else have fifth quarter in high school where after the football game, they would have like a little party or a little shindig after the game and they'd call it like fifth quarter. I know people really, people really thought outside the box on that name. And yeah, I feel like that's where we're in in COVID right now. We're in that fifth quarter. We're all just kind of sitting there at like the party. We're like, well, we all had two slices of pizza. Some of us uh, chose not to have the pizza uh, and they're just, you know, just drinking some pop and our soda in other places. And we're just kind of like, OK, well, can we leave now? Is it OK? <laughs> and like, can we just move on? It's like it's really weird how it is. Do you like my analogy? How I did the shots of the pizza. I think that I thought that was kind of cool. And that was like right off the cuff. So you should just. That that deserves something. That's a, that's. Let's play the clip. That was pretty clever, but uh, so I've been I I tried so I really enjoy Egyptian stuff like watching Egyptian stuff, but it's so funny watching it because every one of them are always like. Man, we just can't believe how these Egyptians, these people, were able to build these perfect square blocks. Like, we just don't get how they were able to do this. It's like, they had nothing else to do, guys. What else do you need? Take two seconds. Think about it. When was this happening? Oh, a long time ago. Where was this happening? In a desert. What else were these people going to do? What else could they do? They didn't have TVs. They didn't have porn. They didn't have hot water, for God's sakes, unless they put it over a fire. What were they going to do? They're like, well, it's fucking hot as hell out. Why don't we just build something? Maybe we can get inside of it or it's cooler. Maybe. And then they get inside of it and they realize it's way hotter in here than it was outside. Let's get outside. They had nothing else to do. And like, I'm sure like if you had just a lot of time and to think about how to move a block from here to here, then from here to here to here to here, like I'm sure you could do it. I'm sure they had many things. They had, it's just, it blows my mind. It blows my mind that they just don't sit back, think for a second and are like, Huh, maybe they just had a lot of time on their hands, but no, they're like, not, 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 no way, no way, no way in hell, no way in hell. It had to be aliens, had to be aliens. When they look back on history right now on iPhones, we have iPhones that has all, all this information and there's not one fucking alien at all. There has not been one alien. Fuck. The government just said something about aliens just 10 months ago and we're like cool anyway uh i don't want to wear a mask it's like see like like no aliens none 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 not at all but who am i i'm just a guy i'm a, i'm just a guy sitting on a podcast or sitting on a stoop with some flags behind him and the newspaper some lights and stuff and a camera this is who I am. This is what I'm doing. Join me. Hug me. Anyway. Oh, man. But, yeah, it's just it's annoying. It's annoying as hell. That annoys me. 
girls getting Botox when you could just wash your face? Just wash your face. Just wash your face and push lo- put lotion on. I'm sure if you just do those two things, it would help so much. It would help so much. Just do it. Just do it. Why can't people be like me? I really do feel like that. But guys, I have like 40 seconds left. If you've gotten this far, thank you so much. Like, comment, and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up, I guess. I'm going to eventually get this on on the like Spotify and iTunes one day maybe. Like I have the money. I just don't know why I haven't done it. I'm such a lazy cunt. I can't play. I use the C word. I apologize. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys on the next episode. All right, bye. <laughs> oh my God. Why did I use that word? Why? Oh.